what a great time to be alive and i'm very happy i'm so pumped i'm so excited and today we are going to be talking about the double spending vulnerability on bitcoin sp because a lot of you guys were talking about this especially during my past two videos and you guys were saying that bitcoin sp is a very bad cryptocurrency because people are able to spend their money twice so today we are going to be debunking the truth we are going to dissect everything because everybody deserves to learn the truth so it's all about doing your own research guys and we are also going to be looking at what craig wright said with regards to these you know claims and uh, i really want to like share an article with you guys because it's very important for us to always look at what people are saying and before we jump into this i really want to just give you a quick disclaimer i do not own any bitcoin sv tokens or coins at this particular moment and i really don't want to make my youtube video Video all about Bitcoin uh, SV but you guys have been asking me a lot of questions so I just have to like dive deep and just share the little knowledge that I have so I'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice and whatever you do you better do your own due diligence so let's get into this so I really um, suggest that you guys grab yourself some coffee I'm actually sipping on a little bit of vibranium you know Wakanda forever so you guys better buckle up because we are about to dive deep so according to this article which was posted on toshi times a video was released on december 8th which explains how a double spending attack is possible on the bitcoin cash sv blockchain researchers show how any users could spend the same coins twice on its network using zero confirmation transaction mm -mm -mm. what a bunch of this is very false ladies and gentlemen we have to we have to do better first of all we have to define exactly what a zero confirmation transaction is and we are also supposed to look at how exactly double spending on any chain is possible when we get to understand these things we are going to find out that this is very impossible so first of all the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define exactly what a zero confirmation transaction is a zero confirmation transaction is an instant transaction which really allows transactions to happen at a very fast pace you guys have to remember that bitcoin sv is planning to be a peer-to-peer -peer cash type of system where people can just pretty much you know make microtransactions and just have very fast and reliable transactions double spending is the ability to, to spend money twice in this particular uh, example this is the ability for you to like uh send a transaction twice to the same input that is very important so the only real way in which double spending can happen on a chain is using two methods this usually happens when a particular um individual or entity has got the ability to control 51 percent of the hashing power if you guys are able to like control uh 51 percent of any hashing power of all the nodes on a particular chain then you guys are able to double spend this is actually one of the reasons why craig wright was saying that this is not very possible it's it's very very impossible for a regular person to double spend on the Bitcoin SV because a lot of people don't really have access. A lot of people don't really have any computational power to take uh, control of 51% of the whole entire hashing system of all the nodes, if I can put it that way. The second way in which double spending can happen is during a rest attack. This is when uh, a person is able to send like a lot of transaction to the same input at the, at, uh, you know, at the very same time. If we look at the article, everything is quite evident. During a multi-phase test this is a rest attack of course you might be able to have an illusion that you are double spending but let me break it down for you guys because proof of work is a very important protocol and uh, with proof of work right you can validate transactions using two types of consistencies on a distributed ledger there is strict or rather slow consistency for example bitcoin core btc is very slow when it comes to validating transactions so this is why sending bitcoin seems to be extremely slow because when you send a transaction using the bitcoin core chain right you're trying to validate the transaction on all the entire node you are actually spending a lot of time trying to validate whether 
whether those transactions are valid. So that type of consistency on the ledger is known as slow consistency. However, if you really want your blockchain to be extremely fast, right, you have to use another validation method, which is known as eventual consistency. This is when everybody assumes that the transaction that you're sending is very factual, but eventually after some time, uh, the nodes are going to be verified a little bit later. So that's the major difference between slow consistency and eventual consistency. So when it comes to uh, eventual consistency, right, you can have an illusion that you are double spending because during that particular time, right, you are able to send different transactions to the uh, to two or more inputs. So uh, until the whole entire node is run, until all the transactions have been validated, you are going to have the illusion that you have sent uh, or rather spent your money twice you've got uh, two transactions but in reality you are not having validated transactions because you have to wait for the node to be scanned for the ledger to be scanned and for that transaction to appear to be very valid so if you really get to like see what was written or written on the article and how long the video is you guys are going to realize that that video was only about 12 minutes you and i both know that 12 12 minutes is a very short time for you to have concluded that you have actually spent the money twice. This is why that video is very short. It's only about 12 minutes. You guys have been spending Bitcoin for a very long time and you know that Bitcoin transactions take very long to get confirmed. For our purposes, the earliest transaction is the one that counts. So we don't really care about later attempts to double spend. The only way to confirm the absence of a transaction is to be aware of all the transactions and being aware of all the transactions is uh, done by scanning the nodes. We need to take legal action against these people making false claims. This lie of zero confirmation attacks, well, this comes under market manipulation in the UK. Spreading such information is very misleading and uh, you guys really need to be very careful, especially when it comes to listening to these researchers because you guys have to dive deep into how the whole entire system works. So uh, I'm obviously going to have all the links in the description box. So if you guys really want to like dive deep, uh, you feel free to check out the, the information because this pretty much explains how double spending occurs and uh, a lot of blockchains have been having this issue. Bitcoin SV is not really the only coin or cryptocurrency that has, that has gone through this problem. For example, but during the early days of Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin also had this very same problem. The more the, the, the network matures, the more people or rather miners uh, join the system, the more decentralized it's going to be and the more difficult it's going to be to be able to have a 51% uh, attack on the hashing system of the whole, you know, entire ecosystem. That's just how it is. So according to the information that we all know, Bitcoin SV is a very, very new new cryptocurrency and obviously there's only a few people mining it so this is why a lot of people are saying that bitcoin sv is very very centralized because if i'm not mistaken there's only about four to five nodes and uh, according to what craig wright was saying only miners at this particular instance are able to double spend as more and more people join uh start mining bitcoin sv this is going to be very, very impossible to do. And when it comes to having rest attack transactions, those transactions are not really going to be valid because the nodes are going to be scanned. The transactions which are very valid are going to be validated. So by the end of the day, you're not really going to be able to double spend. That's just how the cookie crumbles. I hope you guys understand. And uh, you guys have also been talking about how proof of work has been very disappointing according to a lot of people, but I really disagree because proof of work is a very great system. If you guys have read about capitalism, if you guys have read, uh, you know, about the basics of money, then you guys are going to be able to like fall in love with proof of work. Man, proof of work is a very great system because it's flawless. I do understand that it really uses a lot of energy. It really uses a lot of resources. But guys, that's where the value comes in. That's where the value lies. If you guys really want me to like dive deep and just talk about proof of work, please let me know in the comment section below. As far as our proof of stake is concerned, I don't really think it's a great system. If you guys have got like any other arguments, 
about this please let me know in the comment section because i am so passionate about this and i really want everybody to like really understand the beauty of what satoshi nakamoto gave us because this really it really changes how everybody looks at money and by the way a lot of people don't really understand how bitcoin works because they don't even know exactly what a ledger is they don't really have like a basic understanding of why money is valuable you know so you can't really have like a conversation with somebody when they don't really know how the the financial system works they don't really know exactly what the role the federal reserve you know played when it comes to uh the destroying of our perfect system like way back so when you're trying to get somebody to jump into cryptocurrencies when you're trying to get somebody to fall in love with the concept of uh you know having a decentralized public ledger you have to like get to understand whether they understand how the system works okay so guys there's a lot of material out there you guys have to like really you you better check out the links in the description box because you're really going to fall in love with this and man it's gotta be the vibranium sniff that vibranium mm. i'm so excited so please i go by the name of muna that's m-u-n-a and uh yeah you guys Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've got any other questions concerning anything, please let me know because I'm going to do this research and we're going to be diving deep. Welcome to the 10X family. I hope you guys uh, are going to be part of this YouTube channel. Smash the like button because it really helps my YouTube channel get a little bit of recognition because you have to make love to the YouTube algorithm. So it's all about understanding how things work. You have to smash the like button because it's going to give me a little bit of motivation because when I have some motivation, I'm going to be able to like break these things down and you guys are going to be able to like mutually benefit as well okay it's gotta be the vibranium it's gotta be the vibranium sniff that vibranium so hope you guys have a great time stay profitable stay curious be good and have a great time it's been your boy muna and talk to you guys a little bit later bye